Hey guys, this is John with Walkthrough Code. So uh, in this video, we are going to talk about how to connect each com or connect this component to the store. That way, we can um, you know show what's in the store and add stuff and and everything like that. So let's get started. Um, so first thing that we're going to do. So we have put this, you know, we've, we've put basic functionality here, like if we create, uh, if we put something in there, we click submit, it'll, it'll show us that we have something available. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to actually connect to the store itself. So we're actually going to import, uh, connect, uh, excuse me, from React Redux, um, then we're going to, uh, so let's just, let's just do that for, for this particular second. So what we need to do is um, connect itself is actually a higher order component. This higher order component takes um, the, ta will take app as its parameter and give it access to what it needs. So let's say um, connect and this is actually two function or two calls. The first one is, I'll show you in a second. And then this one is app. So we are we are basically calling app. Um, and so this is for well, well, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a function called map dispatch to props. Um, what map dispatch to props is, is it's basically giving us the um, ability to call those action functions and have it connect to Redux uh, through a process called dispatching. Um, and you'll see more as we as we get it typed out. You'll see more of what I'm talking about. So map dispatch to props. Uh, this takes one parameter, which is dispatch. Um, and then what this does is it returns an object, and this object is the is the list of um, is the list of functions that you need access to. Luckily for us, <coughs> excuse me, the luckily for us, the only one that we actually need at this particular moment is the add to do function or add new to do rather. Um, so we need to import that function. Uh, so we're going to go to import, uh, add new to do from dot slash actions forward slash to do's dot actions. Um, and then <clears throat> we're going to go down here and say, uh, add new to do. I, I like this naming convention more. This is just, this is just me. Um, and we're going to say dispatch. Actually, no, 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 no. We need to import one other thing. We need to import uh, bind action <clears throat> action creators. Uh, from Redux. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to say add new to do. Uh, bind action creators, and this takes two parameters. The function um, that we import and also the uh, dispatch. So high level what this is, so what we're saying is take the function that we are importing um, and bind it to this property that we'll, we will have access to on props, and then um, give it the ability to dispatch. Um, yeah. And that, I, it, we'll, we'll, we'll do a little more and see, and see if it makes any sense. So here, um, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's console.log uh, this dot props. That way you can see um, what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we can see that actually we have this 
uh, function. We don't have, uh, we have, we have this function which happens to be this function that we're passing into this component. And so that gives us access to this particular component. Um, or sorry, that particular action. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to say uh, this dot props dot add new to do and this add new to do expects the actual to do itself so we need to pass in this dot props dot or sorry not this dot uh, this dot state dot new to do um, okay let's get rid of this console.log because we don't need it anymore um, Okay, so the only other thing that we need to do is we need to figure out how to get a hold of the information in state. And we do that with through connect as well. Notice that we have this null here. What this actually is is map state to props. And so we're going to have another function. Function map, map state to props. Um, this actually takes two parameters, uh, state and props, but we don't need props for this. Um, we're just going to return an object, and this object is going to get mapped to state as well. Um, and so we're going to say, I want access to the to-dos. So go look in state.todos. And... Yeah. Let's just let's just console that log. Say state in map state to props. That way you can kind of see what's happening here. Um okay. So note here, right, we have this state in, so now we have, ac we actually have access to the whole store state, which may not make, it may not be flagrantly obvious here because we only have one um, node of state, but again, you could have like to-dos and users and, and what, whatever else, right, and that would all be listed here. Um, it has an array of zero right now, obviously we don't have anything in state, um, but we could if we fired this function um, by clicking the submit button. So let's try that. Um, and let's say some new to do. So a couple things just happened. Our logger fired in this new this thing uh, state in map state to props fired. And so notice now this has an array. And oh look, this is exactly what we just added, which is great. Um, so here, just a little uh, a little side note. This is Redux Logger. It is fantastically good for debugging. Um, it gives us the state before the state changed. It it gave us the action that was being handled, and it also gives us the resulting state, the state after all everything runs. Um, and this is just to kind of make sure that every step is running as it should. Super useful. Anyway, so now we have access uh, so let's do this now let's take out that map state to props thing and let's actually let's console.log props again this dot props okay so now our application props not only do we have the to do's but we also have this add new to do that we had before so let's say um, some new to do and let's click submit so now in our props we actually have um, we actually have this in there which is super useful um, so so now we have access to our to do's in the props let's get rid of this console log because this is craziness um, Okay, so now that we have access to all those props, let's let's just throw them all up here to see, you know, to kind of to kind of 
see all those new to dos that we add. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, you could you could put this in line. I don't know. I just don't really like doing that all that much. I'm going to say let um, uh, to dos list equal this uh, whoa this dot props dot uh, to dos dot map and we're going to say for each to do create a list item um, and we're going to say to do so take the actual text of the to do and put it in there um, and I'm actually going to put a key of the index and make this a little easier to read. Um, actually, I'm just going to return Oh no. Um, actually, if we're, we might as well go all the way here. Um, and then we just need to wrap. Come on now. Yeah. I don't, I don't like the way this looks. Yeah, for all intents and purposes. That's a little better. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay, so... Okay, so now we have this uh, list, or this array of LIs, and so we're just going to put that array of LIs here. Um, so we're going to say uh, to do's list, oops, and let's see what happens. Okay, so we don't have any to do's yet, but if I say some new to do, so now we have a bunch of these to do's, and now we have a functionally working Redux app. What is each? Oh, because I never added the key. Equals I. Let's try something, bunch of somethings. Awesome. OK, cool. Well, um, yeah, that we now have a working to-dos app. I will, I'll submit this um, repo for you guys, uh, or I'll put a link for the GitHub repo in the description. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to create a little bit more than this, but what exactly will be uh, decided with time. But other than that, yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, totally leave them in the description below. Please like and subscribe. I'd love for you guys to be notified when I come out with new content so you can tell me what else you need that I haven't yet recorded. Other than that, have an awesome day.